What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flying Brian's Garage. I'm actually uh, in here in the shop for part three of the go-kart lawn cart build. Um, I might look a little tired. I have been up all night trying to fix both my computers, my editing computers. Um, I successfully got one fixed out of two, but I thought I was down and uh, it kind of scared me. So uh, I really can't afford a new computer. So I had to spend all night uh, up working on those and now I'm out here about to get to the build. So bear with me if I seem a little tired. But uh, with all that being said, let's get in the video. All right, so just to do a little recap of what we did last time. We finished up the cleaning the trans. This was part two. We finished up the pedals, trans, uh, drivetrain, uh, all the pulleys down there, the linkages, the throttle cable. Um, we took the trans out and cleaned it. I don't know if I said that or not and we sized for a belt at the very end so pleased to say we have a 41 inch by one half inch thick v-belt uh kevlar good stuff we have i did say we were going to put a pull start on here but i didn't have a pull start i just had a cover and for this cover to fit I've got to lop off th those two because it only fits on two two studs it won't fit on the other two so whichever two I decide to lop off I can use the other two to put this cover on and that'll keep uh, you know you from accidentally getting your hand in there or something um, still got a spring to put on the clutch assembly we still got our linkage to hook up down there um, and that is about it for this one um, besides riding it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get started to see if that belt fits see what we need well it's going to fit I'm gonna make it fit we need to see what we need to do to make it fit does it need uh, is it good with just the three pulleys that are down there? Is it going to need a flat idler in place somewhere to compensate for the size? I'm, I'm not sure yet, but we're going to get that situated. Um, the battery has had a fresh charge on it, so we're good on that. Everything's been welded up. I still got to eventually heat up and kind of bend the back axle to where it'll be straight, but I do believe it'll ride the way it is. Um, but other than that, yeah, let's get down here and check, see if this belt fits. Happy to say our belt should work. It is. Probably going to need a little stretching. What is it hitting? Probably a clutch, um, but our clutch comes over and it tightens the belt for the drive. So let's get the linkage hooked up in the spring. Well, I think I figured out my spring setup. Um, now I just gotta figure out my linkage here. Let's get it figured out. All right. Actually getting this thing out of the shop today. I want to just put it around back. I uh, can't keep waiting. About to be done with this. I'm actually about to be bringing the new project up into the shop. So uh, y'all stay tuned for that video. It'll be a good one. And uh, yeah. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the shop, get everything cleaned up. And then uh, get to this guy. I've got to make a bracket for the clutch uh, linkage. So I will show you all that in just a sec. So I want to take a quick second and pause video and ask y'all to help me with something. I need y'all to do me a favor. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Smash it. Smash that bell. Uh, go like the videos. Uh, you know. Tell me where you're from. Say hi. Whatever. Ask me questions. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. Um, and I cannot do that without your guys' help. Um, so definitely go subscribe. Check out Facebook the uh, Instagram, the Snapchat, and now we have a TikTok. You can just go type in Flying Brian's Garage and you will find me. Um, all the profile pictures are the same. It's easy to find. Um, and yeah, give me some likes, give me some subscribes, and all that good stuff. I'm trying to build this and I can't build it without everybody's help. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, you know, got a lot of good videos coming, constantly coming, um, and I'm constantly sourcing new projects, so stay tuned, and with that being said, let's get back to the video. Alright, so I figured out what I'm going to do for my clutch linkage. I'm going to weld off, right off the edge of this off this way there's going to be a flat tab that comes off here almost like a L it's going to have a hole in it for that to pivot through um, I'm actually going to cut that out of this bracket here um, I think that right there should do it so I went ahead and installed the engine cover anyway because I was right here at it. I had the grinder out, all that good stuff. So now it has a cover on it to protect the fingers from any mishaps. And uh, it matches the top of the engine, so it actually looks pretty good. We got our little bracket here cut. I'm actually going to check. Real quick, and make sure, yeah, perfect. Alright, so all I'm going to need to do is weld this on right about there. And that'll give me some bite. And then what I can do is uh, get the linkage up there, cut it, get it in place and weld it. All right, there's our bracket off of the clutch and we're going to go ahead and cut the linkage and run it up in here what we're probably going to do is just get it right to where I want it and then uh, sit them side by side and just run a nice bead alright so this is what it's looking like Got the linkage in there hooked up. There it is joined. That's where I'm going to be welding it. And then it runs up to my clutch pedal. Well, unfortunately it just started raining a little bit outside, but... There's our linkage. I had to double it up to keep it sturdy. But... Let's see if I can There we 
we go. Clutch is engaging. So, let's get this down and see what it'll do. Here he goes again. So, as you see, I can't keep the damn chain on it. So I gotta figure out something. Other than that, it's actually a lot faster than I expected. It rides out pretty good. Um, it's kind of impressively fun. So, I guess once we get that problem situated, it'll be, uh... It'll be a rider. All right, it is a couple days later. It rained yesterday, so I didn't really mess with a whole bunch. Um, rained a little bit this morning, but it slacked off. I am back on the JC Penny. I actually rode it the other day for a foot before it ran out of gas, and the chain popped off when I went to go push it in here. So there's still some things I got to do to this thing. Um, also, I had a problem with starting, so I'm having to go through and rewire it again. And I'm having to, I had to check the ground because the ground wasn't good on this, um, and clean it up and put it back. I'm running wire now for the ignition, and then what I gotta do is I gotta run through and check the alignment for the, uh, chain in the rear, put it back on, get some gas in it, and air up a tire. And we should be able to ride. Alright, we got a different switch put in here from the other snapper. I went through the wiring again. It's got a new solenoid on it that Shaggy had given me. And I went through all the wires. I put a longer positive cable on there. Cleaned up my, my sad, my negative, and uh, all that good stuff. So... It turns over a lot better, a lot stronger now, so. That's a lot better sign. So since we got that done, now we can move on to the rear end and actually get it straightened up. All right, so I'm still plugging at the lawn cart. Um, I've got the axle straight, the rewiring's done, um, I just got to get it to clear over there just a little bit better and I got to cut out the bolts that are sticking out right there, um, but I did get the axle straight, like I said wiring's done, I got to get this finished up and the chain put back on, I've got to get a return spring on the clutch here so it returns better when you know when I use it and uh, yeah alright guys I've got battery held in place here got it filled up with some gas got the chain back on everything seems to be Good and lubed up, ready to go. Um, axle straight. Everything is uh, should be clearing. Um, got our extra spring on our clutch. So I think we're ready to get this thing off the lift and actually go get this thing out in the yard and see what it'll do. You got to push it all the way down and hold it. Push it down and hold it. Then unclutch. Hold it down. Front down.
Thank you. It's another day out here back at it. So, last, uh, last y'all saw we were having problems with the chain staying on, so I'm making a chain guard guide, as I should say. So I gotta get a angle bracket to go from here to here, and then I'm gonna weld it up here. I got some all thread running through there on each end, welding it. And, uh, yeah. So let's get this done so we can actually get out here. So we got us a little chain guard built here. Out of some scrap metal. Got it welded together. And hopefully this will keep the chain on it. So I'm going to get it off the lift and, uh, see if we can rip it through the yard a little bit. Lock the chain. Yeah, you're locked up right here in the bottom of that sprocket. Yeah, I saw it. Got any PV in there? I sprayed the shit out of the thing with PV, dude. You're throwing sparks. I know. Well, unfortunately we have a problem. And, uh, it's not good. I'm gonna fix it, but it's just, it's not good. Um, we did finish our chain guide here. Um, but it just still keeps throwing the chain, and it was grinding. I found out why. The pulley was rubbing a little bit. I got to cut out, but, you know, the chain, the chain guard works great. Um, that's not my problem. My rear axle's not my problem. This is my problem. Let me get my light. Where the frame has actually warped itself there because of how thin the metal is. So it's warped itself there, and what it did was it kicked this bolt right there down, and that's where the transmission was riding. Um, so what it did was it kicked the trans down and it made it so that the chain, no matter which way I direct the uh, axle, uh, one, one link off or one link on is both too much. I just can't get it dialed. And I'm glad I never did because honestly that really needs to be taken care of. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to come in here and weld some of the holes in. Um, kind of get it cleaned up a little bit. Then we'll come back tomorrow and grind that off. And then we'll come back and layer it with a, a thicker metal and weld it in. Alright. <clears throat> it is the day after. Um, I was actually working on this yesterday and ran out of welding wire but I'm going to show y'all where I've got to so far um, I got it pushed out here by the parts shed for now but uh, I've reinforced with some welds you know kinda it's just kinda tacking holes 
um, I added a little uh, rod in there I can kind of weld to. I'm welding all the way down here. And then I'm welding on the other side all the way across. All the way up to here. On that right there. A little bit left right in here to do. I want to fill this hole in. Um, fill that little bit in there. That little bit in there. 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 And then I'm going to grind this down. I got to beat this up straight because it's a little bent right there. Once I grind all that down, I'm going to come under it and I'm going to weld in a plate. Kind of like, you know, so under this here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my holes out and mount my transmission back. And then I should have strong enough plate for it to not bend down and I'll have good tension on my chain. So once we get some welding wire, we will be back at this project. All right, guys, it has been a while for me, a second for y'all. But we have just finally got all the welding materials we need again. Had to get some, uh, wait for some money to come in. But now we are back on the lawn cart and ready to go ahead and finish welding and get this thing sturdy so we can get our trans back on. All right, we're making some progress here. I've got everything straightened back out. A few more places welded. I think I'm gonna skip this hole back here um, because it's just so close to the fuel line and go ahead and cut out for my plate that I'm gonna be installing. All right, we got quite a bit of bracing done tonight and I've decided to opt out of the plate on the bottom because there's too many bolts and nuts sticking out down there that I'd have to grind down. And if I did that, I'd also have to reinforce the top sides where they're uh, fastened. So, you know, like all in here, these bolts here, there's one right here and there's a few over here. So. I actually what I did was I put the transmission down on here and I found a bar that I could run up under it and it would still sit flush. I welded it down after I bent all this up and in place, heated it up, bent it. I also put this stabilizer in here which is just to throw the rod um, just to help keep it up because the chain doesn't come this far. The chain actually comes out over here and what I'm going to have to do with this one that I welded in is just grind out about half of it in this area here and the chain will clear. Got to grind this little bit down here for my chain to clear through. I got to grind just a little bit down in here for the uh, trans to sit down with the bracket. I kind of welded a little too much right there at the bolt hole as you see. So, I clean that up a little bit. And then we will go ahead and get the transmission installed. Get the chain back on it. Get the clutch system hooked back up. Or hooked back up. And uh, ride this thing around the yard. Unfortunately, this has turned into a game of can we extract the broken bolt or do we have to drill it out? So, I'm hoping I can get a grip on that. There's a little bit left. I'm going to try to see if I can back it out. If not, I'm going to try to see if I can drill and do an ease out. Because I need to get that out of there. I think I just got lucky. That was almost too easy. But I'm not going to complain.
All right. We got it out. So now we have all four holes freed up and ready to install our transmission. I know it got kind of late. It took me a little while, but I got the clutch back together. Everything's operating in there. Brakes operating. Um, belts on. Pulleys are on. Gas is in it. Chains on. The transmission is on and tightened. The rear axle's tightened. So all I need to do is go and fetch a battery. So we're going to do that and then we're going to see if we can ride this thing through the yard before uh, it gets dark. All right, let's see what she does. I'm going to try to hold on to the camera while I'm doing this. Very touchy. Might have just broke the chain. <laughs>
I think I did. Let me go get a light. We'll see. It's either I broke it or I lost the master. I lost the master link. I might need to just put a uh, regular link in it. But I'd say it did pretty damn good for a minute. So really if all I gotta do is put a link in the chain, a real link instead of that master, that's not too bad. Pretty successful. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Leave a like down below, comment if you have questions or just want to say something in general. You're more than welcome to uh, comment whatever. Um, and check out Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and the TikTok. You can just type in the Flying Brian's Garage in the search and you should find me. Most of it is the same profile picture except for Snapchat. So, um, I'm happy that the... Uh, long cart moves it rides it's pretty fast um, there's still some bugs we need to work out on it but you know what so far so good i'm pretty happy with it and uh hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as we enjoyed building it so uh go down and check out some of the older videos uh there's many of those and you can also uh stay tuned and subscribe and hit that uh notification bell for the all notifications and uh, it'll notify you every time i drop a new video which is every three to five days and we're always trying to get something new in the shop so we got a new project right now that I'm looking at and uh, I'm not gonna say anything but stay tuned and just keep watching because we got a good one coming for you so uh, till then I'll see you guys on the next episode